welcome back to the channel so today i thought i would show you the aftermath ish <laughs> last night's project and crafting i did not clean because it was late i had to get up early this morning to go to doctor's appointment and i am also glad that i'm home today because sophia got into my thread <laughs> and it went from the craft room the craft room through the entryway through the formal dining she room does. to the bedroom so Yes, so I'll show you guys this. <laughs> it's still attached to my machine, so I am gonna have to rethread my machine. So, but let me flip the camera around and you guys can see everything on my desk right now. It's currently what my desk looks like. That's a bunch of unfinished masks. That is some items I'm gonna be giving away. My laptop is full of fuss, so I'm gonna have to clean it. This is some of the stuff from yesterday from the serger cutting the edges. This is stabilizer that I use for this project right here. I was listening to music last night and I got these off of Amazon for a really good price and they have been really good so far. And these were the scissors and clippers and things like that I used. And the culprit, Sophia. And then my machine, which I'm gonna have to completely rethread because as you can see she pulled on this so I don't know if the tension's gonna be any good. So, but with that being said, I do want to show you this. This was an embroidery I did to show somebody um, the embroidery machine I have because they were looking for an embroidery machine. So I show them the one I had and this is what I did for them so they can kind of get an idea of how the machine worked and how the stitches came out and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one and that will complete the set. So I'm going to rethread my serger after I cleaned it and did it last night, but it's okay. And we're gonna go ahead and finish this project today. If you ever feel like you might need someone to remind you, who still believes. Don't forget, I'm not so far from home. So don't forget. Okay, for the last part of the project, I need to get the towel portion cut out for this piece. I'm going to go ahead and pin it and serge it, and that will complete this project for today. Now, as far as the materials used, I got everything from I'm seeking from Joann's. This is just cotton fabric. Um, the other one's just like a regular towel fabric. You can buy this pins from anywhere. I think I got them from Walmart. And then these I actually got for embroidering, but you can find this, I believe, from Amazon. And these, I got it from Walmart. If I'm not mistaken, but this is basically all I use. These actually came with this serger, so I'm not sure. I'm, I imagine you can find them online somewhere, but I'm not sure we can exactly get them. But if you have a serger, these are really nice to have. As you can see, they're kind of angled. So, but again, these came with this one, so I'm sure you can find them online.
product this is what it looks like after you're all said and done obviously i said i had added embroidery to show someone how to do this and how the machine runs the fabric can be located or purchased or you can find it at joann's everything came from joann's with the exception of the thread and the embroidery thread those were purchased from different locations these will be used in the kitchen as on paper towels and you can roll them, snap them together, velcro them together, however you want to do it. But these, I'm actually going to leave without snaps. I like them better without snaps or anything on them. If you don't like how this feels when you're cleaning, sometimes you feel like this can go like this. You can just stitch across and I'll hold it together. Honestly, it doesn't bother me none. So these are for my use and I will just leave them like this. They're easy to maintain. And it does kind of save you some money. Instead of buying paper towels, you can just use these and wash them. So, alrighty everyone, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and we will see you on the next one.